Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's look at the day 18th problem of 30 days of code. So here the problem is validating Roman numerals. Let's see the problem statement. You are given a string and you have to validate whether it's a Roman numeral. If it's valid, print true, otherwise print false. Try to create a regular expression for a valid Roman numeral. So we have to print true if it's a valid Roman numeral, otherwise we have to print false. So let's see the input format, a single line of input containing a string of Roman characters. So this is our input and we have to print true or false output a single line containing true or false according to the instructions above constraints the number will be between 1 and 3999 both included so these are our constraints let's see what they have provided over here they have provided regex pattern equal to we have to put the pattern over here do not delete uh, okay we cannot delete anything then print string of bool of array dot match of pattern input so they have taken the input then checking whether the pattern exists or not if the pattern exists it will print true so bool will result in a true statement otherwise it will print false over here that's the thing so we only need to do is like find the pattern that's the only thing we need to do so there is actually a speciality for this particular number uh, 3999 it is the maximum uh, number for which a roman numeral can be represented by using the common elements other uh, four numbers beyond 4000 and so on we have to use a bar symbol above it okay now let's start with the coding part so before starting it uh, i will let me write down the commonly used roman numeral letters let me first make it a comment so that those will not appear here one is represented by i then 5 with v 10 with x 50 with l 100 with c and 500 with d and finally 1000 with m so if we want to represent the number 3999 we have to first put three m's like one m means thousand two m means two thousand three m means three thousand so the next it will be 999 right so in order to get the 999 we have to use nine right in the digits tens and hundred place in the hundred place we have to get nine so in order to do that we have to write 900 right for 900 it will be c m i guess so thousand minus hundred it will be 900 okay and for the 90 it will be c minus x so x c then it will be 90 and finally for nine it will be i x so this is the representation of 3999 okay let it be there so when we are writing the roman numerals there are actually rules for the numbers the fourth and ninth term it cannot be uh, let me represent the roman numerals of 1 to 10 first okay here is a representation of numbers between 1 to 10 so here 1 2 3 then 4 is represented by 5 minus 1 then 6 5 plus 1, 7, 8, 9, 9 will be like 10 minus 1. So it's represented like that. And finally 10. So similarly for the numbers between 10 to 100 and for 100 to 1000, it will be in that form. For V over here, it will be L in when the numbers is represented between 100 and a 10 to 100 let me uh, write those two let it be inside this comment so that it won't appear again and uh, this is the representation of 10 to 100 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 and similarly for the 100 to 1000 it will be c c c m so here the numbers in this fourth term will be a subtraction from the fifth term like that so here uh, what we can identify from this 
presentations over here is that this i can be repeated only three times and similarly for x as well as for c it can be only repeated 0 to 3 times as here 10 there is no i right so from numbers from numbers from 1 to 10 the i can be only repeated 3 times and similarly here also uh, 1i 2i 3i and here also 1i 3i uh, like maximum 0i to 3i that's the representation of numbers from 1 to 10 okay from 1 to 9 let it be like that so that we can split the numbers according to digits place tens place uh, hundreds place and thousands place so in the digits place the i can be repeated only three times and we can write it down so digits right digits let's split it like digits term then tens hundred then thousand so digits equal to uh, let it be inside commas so that this i can be repeated from zero to three times so let's use i then we can use the curly bracket so that it will repeat only the specified number of occurrences so it will be like that and let's see for the 10 to 100 part uh, this will be in the tens term it will be between 10 to 99 right so 10 to 90 so it can be only repeated three times right x here also 1x uh, 0x then x 2x 3x so x is also repeated three times let copy the entire thing p and paste x then similarly for the 100 to 900 part c is also repeating only three times from c either it can be 0 c or it can be maximum up to 3c so let's copy the same thing okay here c so we have done for parts from 0 to 3 and 10 to 30 then 100 to 300 this i can be also with another letter so in the first 0 to 9 elements this i can also be with v as well as x for representing 4 and 9 so we have to include that so it can be with a or statement either like uh, this symbol in regex means either or so here i can be with v as well as x so let it be like that and similarly for the 10 to 100 place this x can be also with l as well as c so we have to do the same thing over here let's copy it out paste it over here so here x can be with c as well as l for representing this 40 and 90 and similarly for the hundreds place this c can be also with d as well as m for representing 400 and okay let me just okay for representing 400 and 900 so let's paste it out and here see right c can be with d and m so we have done for this three part and this three then this term this term over here and we need to do for this the these three similarly for the here up to this one this one this one this one this part is already done so we need to check for the remaining things whether this exists or this is a valid or not so in the first case when there is a v exist v can be alone then we can be along with one more term two more term three more term so we have to represent over here so i can be repeat uh, between zero to three terms right so let it be let's put capital v over there and we have to put a question mark so that let's put a question mark over there so that it can be zero or one occurrences so that this capital v can be repeated either zero times so or one time and the remaining elements will be i can be repeated zero to three times 
So similarly for the remaining things too, in the tens place here with L, uh, the X can be repeated zero time, one time, two times and three times. So similarly, let's copy it, paste it over here. Then instead of this, let's paste L. And finally for the 100 to 1000 part, this D can be either alone or with C, 2C, 3C like that. So let's copy the same thing over here. Let's paste it. Then instead of L, we have to represent D. So that D can be alone or it can be with more occurrences. So like that. So uh, that part is done too. Then finally for the thousand part. Here thousand can be three thousand, right? So one M means thousand. So if we have to represent two thousand, it will be like mm then three thousand like that. So if we are beyond three thousand, then here it will be four thousand, right? So if we put one more m, it will not be valid, right? So for this one too, m can be only represented three times. So similarly for the i, what we did over here, let's copy the same thing, equal to, and here instead of that, let it be m. So let's put it in hyphens like that. So we have done for this part, thousands place, hundreds place, tens place, and digits place. So now we have to put it in the order of how a number is represented 1000, 100, 10, and digits. So let's copy it, each of the terms in that order. So let's paste it over here. Then we have to put a parenthesis over here so that it will check as the next element. So thousands place, hundred place, let it be three parentheses so that we can just paste it out okay in the hundreds place let's paste it then in the tens place let's paste it then finally in the digits place let's paste it and finally to remind the pattern that it's ending we have to put a dollar symbol so that it understands that it the pattern is ending with the digits term so let's put a dollar symbol over here Okay, why I'm not able to print the dollar symbol. Yeah, dollar symbol. So now let's run the code. Processing. Yeah, we got the test case is correct. And let's submit the code. Okay, let's see whether we get all the test cases correct. It started by it's it taking so long. Okay, uh, we got the entire test cases correct. In the first run itself. So that's it. We have to be aware of the how to represent a Roman numeral. That's all the difficulty in this question. I think the video is helpful to you guys. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Tomorrow we can meet with the 19th day problem.